Hey guys, welcome back to another throwback video. This time is one of the, my favorite kits of all time. Carrick's Corner by Railscale Miniatures. The scent of freshly baked breads and pastries in the early morning has been a regular occurrence in this neighborhood for quite some time and the locals have been gathering at Carrick's Bakery faithfully ever since the establishment opened its doors. Rail service brings in large quantities of dry goods at the side of the building while all local deliveries are received at the back. With the Williamson's Bookstore, Ebb and Flow Hair, and Old Morris Tobacconist surrounding this landmark building the residents know this little area as carrots corner all four structures are based on canadian prototypes and with this year's new release that was like in 2008 we have included many new white metal and resin castings that are compatible comparable in quality to the best Kit number three is a true craftsman kit that will bring you many hours of enjoyment during the construction and make you proud to display the comp completed diorama. The versatili versatil versatility of this kit allows you to configure the constructors to make it uniquely your own. Limited to only 300 kits, $325 Canadian. Back in 2009, 2008, I think it was, I built this kit, Carrick's Corner. It was probably my second or third craftsman kit. However, this kit is the best kit that I have ever built, hands down. The, the techniques that I learned while building this kit will be with me for the rest of my life. Specifically, this stucco technique of using, uh, oh, I'm trying to remember the name. Uh, it's water putty, Williams water putty, something like that. So what you do is you paint the wood, you dip your brush, you, like you use an old brush that's gonna be, this is the last time you're ever gonna use it, believe me. So you, you, you put the paint on the wood, you get some color onto the wood, you also get some water, moisture into the wood so that when you put the water putty on, that it has something to bind to. Um, so we put some paint down, then I dip my brush in the water putty and start uh, dabbing dry stucco powder to the paint. And now there's a big messy technique. However, the results that I got on my first try of using this technique were amazing. Nothing short of amazing. Especially at the skill level that I was at when I was building these kits. Like, I was only, like this is probably, like I started building models in 2007, I probably built about 25 models in 2009. Maybe 25 is a little much. I can't remember exactly. I've got the articles to prove it. Probably about 50, let's just say 15 models because 25 sounds a lot. This kit was the one that drove uh, most of my skill level through the roof it gave me the 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 wire bound book I had probably about 60 pages in it I, I don't have it in front of me I sold the box of this kit for 40 bucks the box box and instructions 40 bucks <coughs> excuse me I also sold this diorama uh, at a later date too what are some of the other techniques that I learned while building this kit? Stucco, I, we already went over that. Um, but there's a bit of scratch building. Um, I decided to put in uh, these bricks that were, uh, you know, where the stucco broke off of the building and uh, exposed the bricks behind. 
I also, uh, we used glue for the windows. I have since stopped using this technique because it's kind of messy. It's kind of old school, a little too old school. But uh, specifically, you've got to scratch the storefront. You scratch build the storefront. Detail parts, you learn to de uh, paint detail parts and add them in a scene. Uh, as what you're looking at right now is Campbell scale uh, roofing being applied to the faux roof. Williams Bookstore is made from uh, resin, uh, resin molded brick walls that you have to paint. It gives instructions on adding signs and how to paint the brick. Uh, the scenery and the diorama, as you can see here, starts getting put together on a two foot by two foot base. Where you can, you know, uh, actually put your details into a scene and finish the, the whole scene before you even get to the layout. That's the beauty of a craftsman kit. You know, getting the scene completed before you get to the layout. The thing about it is, is that when you buy a craftsman kit, you're not buying the experience of building one structure. You're not buying the experience to paint one wall you're buying the experience to uh, build a structure over the period of a couple of months um, to f add little pieces of detail here and there until you're happy the thing is though is as you're adding detail to the scene you know, uh, the, 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 the people watching you build this kit, you know, think that you're done the kit months and months before you're actually feeling like you've built the kit. So it's, it's for $325 Canadian, which by the way is 40% cheaper because the Canadian dollar is 40% cheaper than the American dollar. Uh, you know you get to have a cost per hour that is uh modeling on the high end for fairly cheap you know you could fiddle along with all your scratch made uh reclaimed garbage putting it on the layout for hours and hours and hours and hours and it might be free but you know if you're building a craftsman kit, it could be like uh, $2 an hour or something like that. Maybe you put in 50, 60, maybe you put in 100 hours into this kit. I clearly put over 100 hours into this kit. And when it sold for exactly what I wanted to sell it for, I knew that I put just enough work into it to make it look exactly the way I wanted it to. And forever and ever amen my modeling has benefited from it thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe maybe share this video talk to you later